Jesus' precious name, we have worshipped. And amen. amen. Good morning this morning. How was the night? Emmanuel, where you now too? Are you feeling cold? If you are feeling cold yet, it means you didn't dance with us. You didn't celebrate with us. By now, you should be sweating. Because I am sweating myself. Every day, go chai, you go chai. Study all that and say, let's study chai, just a go chalia as blood, wisdom tonic. If you go here one year, at least 12, 12 times, my God, that one chapters, which means every day, one month ago, one month ago, by the end of the one year, you have run it through 12 times. Your wisdom tonic, your bagote. Look at chapter 11. Dishonest scales are abomination to the Lord. Niandia jatsuiko amagari. Ana maileke rice. Madam cup one you say ten cups. One to enough one you will answer you. So Madam can he said, dishonest scales are abomination to the Lord. Niandia nje wote new pass, eh? Wote new pass. Wote aja Belgium. Le no no Belgium. Monday night with a scrap, moto maybe le maybe. Pocha siya, bagali a paint le enano, no one. Iti na moto poa accident. Apia kalo pepo. Dishonest girls are an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. When pride comes, then comes shame, but with the humble is wisdom. The integrity of the upright will guide them. But the perversity of the unfaithful will destroy them. Riches do not profit in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivers from death. The righteousness of the blameless will direct his way aright, but the wicked will fall by his own wickedness. The righteousness of the upright will deliver them. But the unfaithful will be caught by their lust. When a wicked man dies, his expectations will perish. And the hope of the unjust perishes. The righteous is delivered from trouble. And it comes to the wicked instead. The hypocrite with his mouth destroys his neighbor. But through knowledge, the righteous will be delivered. When it goes well with the righteous, the city rejoices. And when the wicked perishes, there is jubilation. By the blessing of the upright, the city is exalted. But it is overthrown by the mouth of the wicked. 
He who is devoid of wisdom despises his neighbor. But a man of understanding holds his peace. A tell bearer reveals secrets, but he who is of faithful spirit conceals a matter. Where there is no counsel, the people fall. But in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. He who is shorty for a stranger will suffer. But one who hates being shorty is secure. Madam, me off for a camp one. You know, so. He who is a shorty for a stranger will suffer. But one who hates being a shorty is secure. It's not just that you run away from being a shorty, you should hate being a shorty. A gracious woman retains honor, but ruthless men retain riches. The merciful man does good for his own soul, but he who is cruel troubles his own flesh. The wicked man does deceptive work, but he who sows righteousness will have a sure reward. As righteousness leads to life, so he who pursues evil pursues it to his own death. Those who are of a perverse heart are an abomination to the Lord. But the blameless in their ways are his delight. Though they join forces, the wicked will not go unpunished. But the posterity of the righteous will be delivered. As a ring of gold in a swine's knot, so is a lovely woman who lacks discretion. The desire of the righteous is only good, but the expectation of the wicked is rot. There is one who scatters, yet increases more. And there is one who withholds more than is right, but it leads to poverty. The generous soul will be made rich, and he who waters will also be watered himself. The people will curse him who withholds grain, but blessing will be on the head of him who sells it. He who earnestly seeks good finds favor, but trouble will come to him who seeks evil. He who trusts in his riches will fall, but the righteous will flourish like foliage. He who troubles his own house will inherit the wind, and the fool will be servant to the wise of heart. Mm. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he who wins souls is wise. If the righteous will be recompensed on the earth how much more the ungodly and the sinner and this is the word of the lord all right let's return to our scripture for studies matthew chapter 6. My 
없이 Amen Matthew chapter 6 verse 8 Therefore do not be like them for your father knows the things you have need of before you ask him in this manner therefore pray our father in where hello be what your kingdom do what and your will will be done on earth as it is in heaven okay yesterday i in nanya your kingdom come Yes, they were able to establish, first of all, that our Father, that our Father that resides in heaven is what? A king. How did you know? Because he has a kingdom. You cannot have a kingdom unless you are a king. So when Jesus said, your kingdom come, it means that that our Father, the one that lives in heaven, he has a kingdom and he is a king and if my father is a king then i am a prince i am a princess now and my father lives in heaven and he has sent me on earth to rule the earth on his behalf because he has colonized the earth and we are considering what it means to say when kingdom comes. I believe with the kingdom of Britain, Biana Nigeria, colonize Nigeria. It be to turn about Nigeria to be like Britain. I sober their language. I oversee too far. I be where the I go by how we when I call Western education. They try. To make us look like them. Because you cannot say that a kingdom has come. When you know you feel about that kingdom. So if, God, if God's kingdom has actually come in our life. If God's kingdom has come in our family. In our community. I be the language of God. I be the language of God. His will should be also done on earth just as in heaven all right so that we do something this morning jesus to pray he said when praying say give us what this day our what why daily bread why daily bread why daily bread give us today our words why not weekly bread why not monthly bread why not annual bread why not a decade bread can keep a decade 10 years why not a century bread what is century 100 why daily magwagi bread with jesus said whatever do you know why jesus said that what you should be asking is daily bread because the father did not want to give you a decade bread an annual bread if the father gives you an annual bread he will not see you again until after one year that is why he will never give you annual bread eh? he knows that once he gives you an annual bread bring it at the center chukuma. once he gives you an annual bread he will not see you again until that bread finishes and it will take that bread one year to what to finish jesus said in that case what you should be asking the father is daily bread so that he will make sure that every morning you will come just as we are coming every morning because the father wants you to be coming 
about. When he gives you 50 years healing, you may not come back. If he gives you 50 years free of any form of trouble, he may not see you in the next 50 years. Are you not aware that was the same mistake the father of the prodigal son made? He gave that boy so much provision. He gave that boy so much inheritance. And the boy did not see need again to stay around the father. What am I still doing around my father? Because he had too much wealth the father gave him. Remember, it was the father that gave him all, but he gave him too much wealth, and the boy did not see reason to still stay around the father. Can can be a book on wealth, right? A far country, the Bible says far country. Because as long as he was concerned, he can now sustain without the father. And Jesus said, the father will not give you weekly bread because it may take you one week before you come back to the father. The father will not give you monthly bread so that you will not run away for one month. That what the father will give you will be what? Daily bread. So that every day you will come. You receive the bread. No matter how you manage the bread, the bread will finish. So that by the next morning, you are doing what again? You are coming back to the father. Father, I'm hungry. Okay, take. Thank you, sir. You go. No matter how economic you are, it will still finish. And you do what? That is why Jesus said that what you should be asking for is daily bread. He wants you to be coming every day. Okay. If there are some people, when they were poor, they are always in the church. Haven't you seen them? Every activities. When I say pray, you always see him coming to cry to God, coming to see God. God opened one door, one contact, one contract. If you my name, before two months, he became too busy for God. sorry, the father gave him bread that will last more than one day. It's not that the father does not have bread that will sustain you for 100 years. He has it. Mm. Whenever I see another breaking of the day, I will say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Whenever I see another breaking of the day, I will say thank you, Lord. Thank you. Should I tell you what you don't know? No matter how much the Father blesses you, it is you that is thinking. Nangosia, this is too much. Oh, yes, room for one year. No. As long as the father is concerned, if only you Bungozi for the day. He wants you to come back tomorrow. That is the error of that rich man in the Bible. When the father blesses him, his farm that day produced like never before. Ji mia edea. Or see, I will expand my balm. My ban. If I expand my ban, it came Jim. Hey, so much food to eat. And he will say, and I will now say to my soul, 
my soul rejoice you have food that will last everlasting the implication of that statement is my soul rejoice you do no longer have need for god that's the interpretation of what he said because when it was coming daily daily small yam that will finish the next day come he never said my soul rejoice but immediately the blessings became great he said ah, i will say to my soul my soul you are not independent of god you have what will sustain you and god said to him you are a fool what made him a fool he thought that god gave him anwa provision that was why he was a fool he thought that those yam was to last for one year he never knew it was actually a deliberate only that god included the poor people's provision in what he gave him god included the poor people's provision he if you were doing as yeah, had a top, Mamma and you are better. We just have someone here, Mta, Mammy, and my boss. When you got better, come on, you want to go for four years, and when you got better, you want to go to Bali and Babylon statement, you have a statement of a fool. One of the toy, you got better, you're not someone like Mta, Mammy, and my better, my uncle, and you're lucky. My next child, Mammy, and you're coming to me. Konya, Omey, and you. Yanye. God's system is on daily basis. Yeah? Coming to God. Because God wants to be seeing you daily. Why is God insisting on daily basis system? Because God does not want any man to be independent. He wants us to depend on him. That is what prayer means. That is why God sees prayerlessness as arrogance. You know, in my name, Madonna, what pride they hika? In your self confidence, people will say you are proud. You my idea. In your self confidence, in your self awareness, in my own But I don't talk to me like that. Was not okay. Ne koka. He will was against that. Or boy, ne. I have no more your bo. In my understanding of your office, that office should not be messed up as an or the arrogant. Sometimes when you hear other people say, "I, it is too late for me to be poor." As not okay. Ne koka. Self-awareness. Pride is thinking that that achievement is your strength. Twenty million Don't worry, I'll sort it out. Yes. And you be free. My idea. It becomes pride when you attribute the success to your you as the source. But when you attribute the success, the source to God, when you trace your success to God, when you trace your achievement to God, it is not pride. I can do all things. We can see Susan Lucas here, but can you do it? Paul, he appeared with me. I can. Paul, okay, he agreed with me to offer. I can. Paul, he had one ball in your goal. I can. We share with him. If I can get me a cup of coffee, he had every day in a quote. I'm a canoe Paul. I'm born a prince. Coffee, he had a quote. If I have book, I can do all things. Nezere for me no abu a pride. Or channel what you do through Christ, who strengthens me. If you have your job of pride, about you may not have pride, but no trace here through Christ. Manauko, I can do how many things? All things. Mani ne poti eta. Mani ne mezi no abu a pride, but no mezi esos here through what Christ. 
That's our God. Gina, each of you go. No one can look at Jesus. I am the living bread. You mala yana bakan di juice. Yeah, asin di juice. I am the living water. Asin unless you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you are a broken. Muka ini kencang wa kapen to go bu non kanas. Okay. So why God? gives you that thing on a daily basis because he wants you to be coming back to him as your source god does not want anybody to be independent even after he has made you big even after he has given you something that will last 20 years he still wants to be your source and that is why we come to him daily on prayer that is why we come to him daily on prayer what are we coming to do to him when we come to him daily on prayer we are coming to say Adi Ike, Mani Ike, Ike Adi Gidi Ike, We Rakai Di Ike Jid. So that is why Jesus said, "What you should be asking is daily what bread." As I begin to run off, a guy. Now, that is why in a God's pattern, but you will feed your own Israel with manna. God's pattern, but you feed your own Israel with manna. You should have Can you follow me? What did he say to them? When you go to pick the manna, you pick the quantity that will last her for how many years? Eh? The one you will eat for that day. Tomorrow you have to come back and pick another manna. the punishment in the year? for 40 years. The problem the manna they are doing. He will do some taking a zoom again for that day. Only the day for the Sabbath, which is on Friday, God permit Ilifa to pick in Kaya last two days because on a Sabbath day they are not meant to work. So pick in Kaya last what? Two days in Kiyeli Friday, and Kiyeli on the Sabbath day. She hopes she ought to fall a potakwabia pick. Manu for the manaju. How will you were born to give us one year bread? Born to one year annual bread. We for the born decade bread before cheerful. If I had your last for ten years, melt or more melt. If I have they have to go back to God to pick manna for that day. Now, are you sure? No melt or. Because we play Are you sure? Now your man a guy who melt, your business guy who jibada. You stop going to God daily because each and every day go what will last for five years. He reduce it is a beer bell out. He reduce it is a go Bible. Are you sure? That man had their melt. Business I have you the child. It is shown you their melt. Because you have stopped going to God daily. And when they got five, five hire only for one week. It might be implication. The next morning for mana. Hana Mufam uh governor again a church 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 church. I can another language. Governor get a church, no channel on a church, a camera, church, 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 and was a man farm, Mona Mulu Jebehoka for one month, or a man at Julifa. Suddenly, the man melted. I do what she have a for daily manner. It be privilege a bona in a line of the good to give a heap hotel. I last for twenty years. A build on a wealth that will last for twenty years. Yet, the old as far as God did the concern, if he. But daily wealth. 
I'm going to get to 20 years. Because one day, I'm going to get to 100 days, I'm going to get to 1,000 years, I'm going to get to 1,000 days. I'm going to get to 20 years. God is not as deliberate. I'm going to get to 20 years. I'm going to get to 20 years. Anything that makes you to stop going to God daily is a threat. Jesus said that what God gives a man is daily bread because he wants to see your face every morning. Yeah. How do you greet your mom once a week? Daily. Good morning is for every day. Good morning, mom. Keta haya ha no chinkechio. If I ask you a good morning, Mum Kech, three of us. Good morning, Mum Keta. I am last here for one year. Every morning, we just say, "Oh, we don't know, we don't know." Papa, no, 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 be. Papa, tell us what we know, no, be. If they have no DCBC, tell us Papa, Jimmy, no, be. You know, no, be. You just two years after. My good morning, oh, I say, oh, yeah, my guy, my hand, I know, Zuma, one in twenty. Oh, my, I say, can't call you two after. Go on, you and get to the alpha. Onye, asi ana neka, neka nke mwa onye, makande bon neka biye hika. Asi ana neka mwa mbeka, asi ya o ne, keki me mega apata kwa, asi ya eh, onye nka apata kwa. Na good morning, ototo ama o, onye ike chuku, ike chuku, ike chuku, nke mwa oka, asi ya mba na nke mwa mbeka, asi oke, ke makande ni. And the need to be a father does not mean the yaga go to tuition. When you get daily bread, because he wants to be seeing you daily. Wisdom only is wisdom for today. You will come again tomorrow to receive wisdom for tomorrow. Sight only is sight for today. Life only is life for today. It's your life for tomorrow. You will come back again. Health only is health for today. It's your health for tomorrow. You will come back today. What he gives a man is daily.